Hello and welcome to the RJ National. My name is Jamie Hughes and I'm the greenkeeper here. You join me on a very chilly afternoon here at Ipswich. The temperature is now dropping as we enter December. So with that in mind, uh, we want to think that now all our maintenance now should be done and we should just be ready to tick the course over into the new year. Uh, we've been away for a little while as we get to the end of the year it's difficult to find the time to get out here uh, but what we have got coming up is just some snippets of a little bit of renovation we've had going on and also this nice big new project on this first tee you see behind me. As we approach the winter months, we're now going to back off our fertiliser programme a little bit, maybe swap things out and accommodate something better suited to the colder temperatures. So what I'm now doing here is I'm going to start using a product called Ferrisol. And our Ferrisol is a liquid iron solution. Uh, we apply that to generally toughen up the turf a little bit, give us a tougher sward uh, to better cope with the uh, colder temperatures as it's getting now. The Green Tech Dino Seeders are out once more this season to overseed all the playing surfaces while the temperature was still on our side. And as you can see here, they make a nice companion for the GP400. This was done in three to four different directions to ensure we got accurate coverage and also we matched the application rate required by the seed. Thanks to the guys from Waldron Field Golf Club nearby, I was able to borrow their very small vertidrain unit here, stick it on the back of one of our Izeki tractors and get the greens aerated. And being such a small unit, it suits the site here quite well. The aim of this was to just spike the ground. Uh, we're using quarter inch tines at a depth of about six inches. This is puncturing the thatch layer, allowing moisture and also nutrients down through that thatch and into the soil profile. Once the aeration was completed and the seed had fully germinated, it was then time to put our main autumn feed down. And this is normally done about two weeks after the first overseeding to ensure that new grass is coming up fully, so that also gets a protection. The fertiliser I'm using is a Sierra Form GT K Step, and this has a formula of a 6027. Also, this month, much to my glee, saw the completion of quite a major project we had going on the first tee here. Uh, you can see here where the back of the tee has just fallen away going down to the rotten sleepers that are at the back of it. We wanted to get rid of those sleepers and build the tee up a bit, dress it up a bit, give it an entrance that it didn't have before so when the guys come in they walk out of the office and bang, you're on the RJ National. Helping me out over the two weeks it took to complete this uh, was Tom Gooday of FTG Services. Uh, now Tom is a really good friend of architect Howard Swan who advised us on what we should do here and he's actually been up here before at the start of the year uh, working with me on the new heather extensions and the new pathways around the course and he'd done a really good job for us then so it just made sense to have him back and carry this out. Finally this month, we've also seen the official launch of our new Ransoms MP mower. Uh, so you see here, Director of Product Management Richard Cumley, just formally introducing it to the guys in the factory here. Uh, the MP mower is going to be replacing the outgoing HR6010. So far the machine's looking great, it's doing really well and hopefully going into the next year and onwards it's going to be a big success. So that brings us to a close of this edition of what's happening on the RJ National. Uh, do join us next time where we'll be looking at a little bit more of a sort of basic winter maintenance and maybe even look at fungicides as well as we approach a potential season of snow. Um, we are going to be having a lot of visitors come through so it's key that the course does stay in tip top shape. So do join us to have a look at how we do that. Uh, until then, I hope you've enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.